Hey YouTube, so I figured I'd make up a quick video on how to uh, round or bell your uh, cheap eBay charge piping. I've seen uh, a couple write-ups online in various forums about making this tool right here. So I figured I'd give it a shot since I'm putting an intercooler on my uh, Gen 1 Cummins 4BT. Well, first off, I'll show you the tools. Just a simple pair of vice grips that I took a 3-inch exhaust clamp, welded it on to one end, and then a nice thick washer, and uh, beveled the edges and welded it on to the other end. So when you clamp it together like that, it will start rounding out the, uh, the charge pipe. That's good if you have a higher boost and you're blowing off uh, pipe ends and stuff like that. So I'll just go ahead and get started here. So it doesn't take too long. But definitely sitting there with a six pack will probably make this go a little bit quicker. Depending uh, on how far down you want the bevel to go, you just adjust in and out. Um, I put this one here a little bit farther inboard than I, than I really wanted. And then I brought this one almost right to the edge where I think it'll probably be best. So uh, I'll take the uh, vice grips, clamp just there on the inside edge where it's the, uh, the, ins the edge of the pipe is flush with the edge of the uh, exhaust clamp. So, and then squeeze it. And you might, should be able to see that one little bump there. And you're just gonna do that all the way down the line. You might have to go around twice, unless you're really particular about doing it. That way, you have a nice even bead. I bought these pipes several years ago for a different turbo project, and I never wound up using them. Been sitting around. You might be able to find cheap eBay kits now that already have the bead on it. Of course, you can take it to a weld shop, or if you have a <clears throat> aluminum welder, you can do it yourself. And my particular machine will not make aluminum. I've tried it. Supposedly, it's capable, but it just it doesn't like it. Of course, if you have steel piping, this is aluminum, but if you have steel, there's another tool that you can make um, to, help, <clears throat> to use in a, a shop press. I might wind up making one of those if I ever go to steel piping. I was actually planning on making one anyway until I tried this out. And since it's so easy, I would just stick with this because this I can take up into the house and the old lady won't get too mad at me sit in front of the TV and drink a couple beers and knock out all the pipes as opposed to sitting there with my back all jacked up over the shock press so that's pretty much gone all the way around it I might go back over it once to give a couple more of these a little, couple more elevens, but that's essentially it. You see this real groove right here. I didn't um, bevel the edge of the inside of that exhaust clamp. You should probably do that. That way you won't get a little bit of cutting there. But if it's not an issue for me, because it's, uh, it's covered by a, a coupling anyway. So, well, there it is. Have a good one.